latest news talk with Julia Cosby at International News Channel and Take TV is on Ontario's ongoing corona pandemic situation. I'm joined with NDP MPP Kevin Yard from Brampton North. Hello MPP Kevin Yard, we're so happy to have you here. Hello Julia, thank you for having me on your program. Sashrika. How concerned are you about this third wave of the ongoing pandemic in your riding as well as in Ontario? Well, I'm very concerned and as a matter of fact, uh, we're now in the third wave uh, in, in Ontario as well as uh, uh, in Brampton and Brampton North. And, uh, you know, the government uh, just walk us right into this third wave without being prepared. Uh, what they tried to do, as we probably all remember last Friday, uh, was uh, removing uh, playgrounds, uh, making sure that people didn't go to playgrounds. They tried to bring in the police force uh, to stop people from, from uh, going outside and asking them where they were going and uh, they were going to issue tickets. But of course, uh, the police department, uh, Peel Police, Toronto Police, and some 30 other uh, police organizations said, no, we weren't going to do this. And uh, it was wrong, and it's not their way to resolve the uh, problem that we have with, with the COVID-19 virus. Premier Doug Ford has apologized for increasing police enforcement powers and closing playgrounds. He said that his government moved too fast. What do you make of his apology? Well, you know, the science table, his own science table had told him back at the beginning of the year, but this is where we're going to end. If we don't bring in paid sick days, if we don't do X, Y, Z, and he didn't listen to his science table. So uh, his apologies, I, I hear his apologies, but uh, he knew what he had to do in terms of the science table. And he didn't listen to them. Uh, he decided to go his own way uh, with some of his ministers and uh, enact um, restrictions which had nothing to do uh, with uh, resolving our case counts and the rising numbers. We knew back at the beginning of the year, back in February, that this would be the situation if we did not bring in paid sick days, if we did not close businesses uh, which uh, had uh, high uh, case numbers. And we also have to provide supports for these businesses as well and uh, for, for their workers. So there's so many things that the science table had told the Premier what to do and he, he refused to listen. And this is where we are at right now. We look at the education system. Uh, he, he was last minute to close the schools, even though uh, uh, teachers and uh, uh, I guess you, you could say teachers as well as uh, uh, the medical community, the nurses association, his own science table were saying, we have to close the schools because the spread is great and it's continuing in Ontario. So um, I'm not gonna listen to his apology. Uh, he. It will be up to the people of Ontario to decide whether or not they, they accept his apology. But as you can see, we're now in this third wave. Our ICU beds are over uh, capacity. We have over 700, actually now over 800 people in ICU uh, beds in hospitals. And in Brampton, we are seeing people being transferred to other locations in Milton and across the GTA because we are over capacity. And we knew this was going to happen, but the government did nothing to stop it. Now, I know uh, what you're saying, of course, you're the official opposition, uh, but your party has gone so far as to say that Premier Doug Ford has to resign. Uh, what could you uh, and your party do with regard to the COVID situation through his re resignation? You know, I, I don't think he's the one to deal with this pandemic. And uh, it'll be up to, once again, it'll be up to the people of Ontario to decide whether or not they want him to stay or not. I, I'm, I'm focused on dealing with what's happening in Brampton and uh, across Ontario. We, right now, our rate is 22.4% positivity. It is double the provincial average, which is around 7, 7.9%. And the fact that we still don't have pop-up clinics in Brampton uh, is, is ludicrous and it is something which which myself, the leader, uh, the mayor, the councillors were all pushing for to get those supports in Brampton. We need vaccines, we need more uh, pharmacies with uh, vaccines and we're not getting it and we don't have pop-up clinics. With, with the highest positivity rate in Ontario and we don't have pop-up clinics, that's absurd. It is absurd. I know that the Ontario government claims that the 2021 Ontario budget supports the province's comprehensive vaccine distribution plan, along with providing additional resources for the health care sector and initiatives to protect the economic well-being of families, workers and employers. 
How do you see it? Well, when you when you look at what's been happening, uh, they had the uh, the pilot program for vaccine rollout. Mm -hmm. We were not even in the pilot program, the Peel region. We were not even in it. Uh, so something is going amiss. Something is going wrong uh, down at uh, Queen's Park, where the government is not prioritizing the hot zones in Ontario in terms of the vaccine rollout. Uh, we look at the hospital situation. We look at Brampton Civic since day one. This was even before the pandemic. Since day one, we were over capacity. Now, the Liberals for 15 years, they did nothing to, to uh, fix that problem. Now, the Conservatives, the same situation continues. We still have hallway medicine, and uh, they are not providing supports. They said that they will add an additional wing to Peel Memorial. That is not a new hospital. We need a third hospital in Brampton. Uh, we are the fastest growing municipality in Ontario, if not uh, Canada. So we need those supports. We need a third hospital. We need those vaccines. We need the pop-up clinics. And that's something I'm going to continue to fight for at Queen's Park. I know, of course, uh, your area is such a hot spot and most of Peel is. Uh, how could you help reduce hot spot areas in your constituency? Well, it, this should have been done from day one. Uh, the vaccine rollout by age is not working. We, we've known that. They should be allocating the vaccines to the hot zones first. We have many essential workers in, in Brampton, in the Peel region. They should be getting the vaccines first. And there was a poll that was done just recently uh, with Ontarians asking them, would you support having a vaccine rollout to hot zones and having your area perhaps wait if, if it has low uh, COVID cases? In the majority, over 80% of the people said, yes, we, we, we'd be willing to help out the hot zones because people know that in Peel region and in Toronto region, if they are not dealt with first, then the rest of Ontario will lag behind. So that's what they should be doing, is allocating the vaccines and the resources to the hot zones, which is my area, uh, Brampton and Brampton North. And that's the way we're going to get around it. We can't continue to have essential workers going to work sick without paid sick days. And we're not getting the paid sick days. The, the Premier said he's going to have a look at it, but we need it right now. And it's not just me saying it, uh, Julia, it's his science table has been saying it. It's the Ontario Medical Association, the Nurses Association, and the majority of Ontarians are saying, bring in paid sick days. And it makes sense. And it looks like now he's finally, there's a light that's going off at the top of his head, realizing that we do need that paid sick days, because if we're going to get out of this pandemic, if we're going to be serious about getting out of this pandemic, uh, this is one thing we definitely, definitely need. Now, I know what your message to Doug Ford is, but what is your message to the residents in this dire situation? Well, the residents uh, in my area, in Brampton North, I just want them to know that I'm going to continue to fight to make sure that we get the vaccines. I know people have been calling my office and sending me emails and saying, Kevin, where are the pop-up clinics? We are a hot zone. We are the one area where we should be getting this. Uh, so we're going to continue to push uh, at Queen's Park. We see pop-up uh, clinics going in other areas of, of the GTA, but we are the area where we really need those pop-up clinics. I will fight for getting paid sick days because the majority of workers in, in Brampton, Brampton North are essential workers. They are truckers, they are cab drivers, they are working in warehouses. And I understand and I feel their frustration that they have to choose between going to work sick or or putting food on the table. They shouldn't have to have to make that decision. So that's another thing I'm gonna push for is paid sick days. We should be closing businesses where we have five or more confirmed cases. Mm -hmm. And this is something that Dr. Lowe uh, the uh, chief medical advisor of uh, Peel Region uh, put forward just the other day, uh, the uh, action number 22, where any business which has 22 or more, sorry, which has uh, five or more COVID cases will be shutting down that business for a period of 10 days. So this is something which needs to be done. And I, I applaud Dr. Lowe for taking these actions because the government's not doing it. And we really need to support and protect the workers and get rid of this uh, uh, COVID-19. And the only way to do that is to act swiftly and to act responsibly. The government needs to listen to their science table because they are telling them the correct ways for us to get out of this pandemic, but they are not listening to, their, to even their own science table.
Thank you, MPP Kevin Yard, for joining me on News Talk on Take TV. Thank you for having me, Julia. And I just want to say thank you to everyone watching. Remember, continue to wash your hands, social distance, wear your mask. We're all in this together. and We will get through this pandemic, uh, but we just have to continue to follow those guidelines.